Okay, light them if you got them. Jonathan Fibonacci, live from Mana Mountain. Here you go. Day 307. Hala. Holy shit. The things I've learned. Here you go. April 5, day 307. I guess they're calling that Easter Thursday, Easter Wednesday. Happy Easter. Jonathan Fibonacci, live from Mana Mountain. Durango, baby. Day 307. Okay, so here you go. I think day 304 was probably my... No, no, it was 303. It was probably one of my best days of the whole world. This is kind of miracle. 303. So here you go. This is a true story. This is one of the reasons why I love Durango. Now, you know, I talk all the thing, all, all about how difficult it is to live out here. Uh, in fact, when I first moved out here, I heard somebody refer to how many times they, you know, well, keep in mind, I'm from Oklahoma, right? So when you're from Oklahoma, you're like, this is my 17th year and my 18th year and 19th is just the same as 20 and 21 is the same as 23 and 35 and it's the same. Oklahoma, baby, where the wind comes sweeping down and then boom, then Amanda Markham, then I went to Abilene, holy shit. Don't ever go to Abilene. You know the story. Moving on. Day 303 was one of the best days of my life, you know? Day 303 of homelessness. Like, there you go. But, you know, um, Durango is, is, is uh, such a beautiful place to live, but it's just a very difficult place to, to work. I mean, it's just, it is a resort economy. And the joke is people kind of resort to do whatever they need to do. Hala. That's a stolen joke. By the way, I also on day 303 did, I think, my second um, comedy bit at El Ranchos. 8 o'clock, baby. 8 o'clock Thursday's comedy in Durango. I mean, this town, for only 17,000 people, offers a whole bunch of shit. I mean, it's a fun fucking place to live. And then, of course, there's San Francisco. But day 303, baby. You know, that's my day of homelessness, and I got that idea from that Matt Damon movie. You know, I think it was called Martian. In fact, I saw a little bit of that when I was at the rec center recently, and we have one of the best rec centers in the whole fucking world, too. But that's where I got the idea of naming my days Saul. I was watching The Martian, Matt Damon. I was Pagosa Springs. I still had money back then. Jonathan Fibonacci was a mortgage guy. Holy shit. And then guess what? Dodd Frank. And then that's kind of where I went on kind of the 50 shades of homelessness and the things I've learned. And some of the, um, you know, I've had, I was telling, telling somebody once that, you know, I've only had about 20 days of trauma. You know, the rest of those have just been just kind of bad, wonderful, awesome, terrible. Well, where am I going to sleep? How am I going to shower? Where am I going to eat? And then every time just saying, Jesus is king. And the Lord is the word. The Lord is the Lord of His word, and, and how my own faith has evolved. And, and, you know, well, let me just say it this way: Day three hundred three, Durango, Buckley Park, Jonathan Fibonacci. They were doing one of those festivals, and I had some volcano uh, soup, and the music was amazing. Of course, I love to dance. I'm the only guy in Durango. Um, that can say I've ha I have literally had a restraining order placed against me by the way I dance. That's a true story. That tells you how quickly and easily it is to get arrested in this beautiful town. In fact, in the background, you can probably hear, the, there you go. They're out there to fill these jails and how I've learned about the private prison system. And, and again, it, as amazing as Durango is, it also has a thriving mini private prison system. And how we really need to look at that, and how I'm in that process right now, and how easy it is for um, cities to fill those jails with homeless people. And that's a really big deal because when, when poverty becomes illegal, we got a problem because there's a lot of people that are poor in this country. So we need to we need to put some fresh eyes on homelessness. And Jonathan Fibonacci is the best person in the world to do that. gmail.com, americano417 at gmail.com, paypal me, um, I need to set that up, or 
you can Walmart me money. It's the same. This is GoFundMe. Email me at Americana417 at gmail.com because my legal name is, you know the drill, Jonathan Spears, and Walmart is a bitch. They're like, Fibonacci or Spears. Anyway, 85 bucks. Thank you for taking this journey with me. But I got to tell you about Buckley Park. And this Green Man Festival, even though I don't like the name of the festival, it was awesome. And what what volcano uh, soup is, and how uh, they they literally fed the ravens that night as a city, not as some sort of like you know charity thing, but as a city they had a festival and it was music and dancing at Buckley Park. Um, and I believe his name is Tyler. He put that on, and then um, and and then they had they had uh, they they served the community. And then um, when I was, and I, I heard the chef t tell his, tell her story about how her dad was a geologist and would pick up rocks. And then of course I went to, went back to dancing, and and then you know I don't have any room for you know like geology in my Fibonacci dancing world. I got to move on, baby. And then when I was eating at Buckley Park at the Green Man Festival, even though I hate the name of the festival, it was an amazing Jesus moment. I was, I was eating this wonderful uh, soup. And if you know anything about Durango, they, they take their foods very seriously, especially gluten-free world people. And so it was really, really healthy, healthy, amazing, authentic food. And it was just being given to us, just like, the, just like they did in the old times, you know, when churches got together and, and when um, people had celebrations, festivals and feasts. I mean, that comes from the Bible. And then I was, I was like, soup. It was kind of an homage to her dad. And she was feeding ravens. It was like bluegrass, and I don't even really like bluegrass, but holy shit, a rock and roll band with a flute. It was so wonderful, and the dancing was amazing. Of course, I danced with anybody that would dance with me because I love this city. That was day 303. And as the, um, as the band was, was riffing, he said, Oh, look, there's a bald eagle. Feed my ravens, day three of three. You know, I've had some days on this journey that have been so fucking difficult. I'll tell you relationship stories later. Today was Ever Soup, day three of three. Of course, one hashtag me too. That's another story, and I think you'll like it as this channel evolves. Really, like that's a literal story, and and how the Me Too movement and false allegations and how easy it is to get a restraining order. What the fuck is the we'll talk about that? Durango's an amazing, wonderful city. This is my first time around, um, and I want to share the beauty, the bane, the beast. Three o seven. How was your day? Email me. Americano417 at gmail.com. Just like the coffee, Americano417 at gmail.com. And, and let me honor some people. Uh, my dad, he dropped me 50 bucks. That's its own story. $50, Elton. Thank you. Been rich. He's my new friend. We'll talk about relationships and homelessness and, and how Christians are responding to homelessness in such weird ways. And how the love of mammon, the love of mammon, and when it, when it, when, when mon the love of money is so primal in our lives, what happens to our souls? And how, you know, this beautiful quote from this 
I think the the guy remember I said it was a festival so there's this the guy I'm talking about now he was playing a violin and he was looping it again Buckley Park feeding the Ravens Everest soup this is a violin guy and he wrote this um, I think he teaches in the smiley building um, but he was uh, he wrote a song and one of the lines is this and I'll leave you with this this is Fibonacci 307 stolen quote smiley Violin guy, Jonathan Fibonacci is out. The line is simply this. Who are you when you were left with nothing? That light.